Heather's here, so it's Heather's. I'm about to make us a lot of baby food for Claire. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So, first off, I set out all of my fruit here. First, I need to boil the carrots and bake the sweet potatoes. And in the meantime, while that's going, I'm going to start peeling the pears, apples, peaches, avocados, bananas. So, and then I'll have it all set out and um, some oranges and I have a few other things in the refrigerator too. Anyways, I get it all out here and then I'm going to do all that and then I'll get the stuff out of the refrigerator and I'll set it all out and then I'll have it ready to go. So I'll come back to you in a second and show you what I'm going to, what I have all set. Okay guys, so this is where I'm at now. The carrots are boiling. And I have the steamer in here, and it's like a little steamer basket. I also have my sweet potatoes in there cooking at 450 for um, about 40 minutes, I think, 30, 40 minutes. The carrots did about 20 minutes boiling, and then, so then I was over here peeling some oranges, and then I have all, these are pears, peaches, apples, and I still, that's only like two pears, one apple, two, or a peach right there. So I still have two more peaches to go, two more apples to go, two, I have four more pears of the avocados and apples are really easy to open up. And the, the avocados and bananas are super easy to do without having to blend them. And you just mash them up like this with a fork. You can do that really quickly. Um, but I'm going to also mix those in with some other things. And then I'm doing um peeling the oranges and then i also have strawberries and blueberries and raspberries to put in with this that are still in the fridge don't really have to do much with them but here this is my blender i'll be using and i'll show you that in just a second so i also wanted to show you this little thing i have here that i do with my apples and it looks like apple and i do with my pears so i put it on here and i'm gonna try to do this one hand you push it down and then it makes the hold on And see, so once you push it down, then it makes these little pieces. So they're really easy. Actually, I do this a lot for Kinsley to eat little pieces. And she loves pears and apples. Um, but this way, it's easier when I put them in the blender also to blend them up really good. So Now that I kind of have everything set up, I want to show you a couple more things. This is the water from the carrots. So when I boil the carrots, there's lots of good nutrients to the water so you want to use that water up if you can I also to kind of speed up the process I'll get out some carrots and put them in the fridge so that they are cooled off now and you want them to be oops <laughs> you want them to be where you can easily like tear them in half like that and they're not hard anymore for when you blend them also the sweet potatoes too I'll just I half them let them cool off and then I just pull them off and now they're really like so when I put them in, they're going to be kind of mushy already. Um, also, these things I'll peel usually right as I'm putting them in. Now all of this is ready. So like putting in um, the apples and putting in the peaches. And so I like to do two or three things. Usually I'll do like, so I'll do like um, apples and sweet potatoes, carrots and peaches or pears or Whatever, I kind of mix them together, two or three things in here. So I'll show you that. Hold on. I've got, okay, so I've got carrots, apples, and peaches in here right now. And I poured a little bit of water, you can see at the bottom there, from the carrots water. And I'm going to mix this up, and then I'll see if it, is that a good, hey girls. Okay, sorry. So I'm going to mix it up and see if it comes to a good consistency. Sometimes I have to add more. Sometimes I have to add more water. I'll we'll just see. So let's see. Hopefully she won't cry when I start doing this. So. Start mixing it up. Now it looks a little bit watery to me. So I'm going to add a little bit more of fruits or vegetables to it. I'm just going to take a few more of these apples down here. Maybe a few apples more. Apples on apples. Okay, hold on. There's another peach. On a red apple. And a couple more carrots down in here. I want a red apple. Okay, you want a red apple? Mommy? Yeah. Look. Okay. But Mommy... Now 
Now that was like perfect. So this is the, I use the nook with oyster is what it's called. And so you put everything in and then all you have to do is you put it on here and you twist it to start and then you take it off. And I really like that a lot. Okay, so this seems perfect to me. It's a good consistency, not too watery, not too chunky. And then I have all of my containers here sitting out and then I'll just pour this in here. And then usually if I do about that much, I can get two out of it. Like, like that. And then, so now I'm gonna fill all these up. So I'll come back shortly once I get all these um, some more done and I'll show you a few more things. So now I have a little I, helper. I am finding a place you can She's help. organizing them. So we've got our stash started over there. Mm -hmm. We've got some filled up here. And I'm about to do some carrots and bananas down in there. And yes, it does get messy. It gets messy, doesn't it, doing all this. I love but this one. It's good. Best. All right. All right. So things are getting really messy over here, but I wanted to show you also what I do when I'm not sure if it's all the way done yet. I'll kind of do this and see if it's a good, it's a good consistency here. And looks like it is. Sorry, it is getting messy over here doing all this food. But about, you can tell that I'm about through with all of my stash over, over here. My carrots are about gone. I got a half a sweet potato left. I've still got a lot of bananas. I may not do all the bananas. These two I had in the refrigerator. So I'm going to do those, I know. Probably three more. I may leave these to cut. I may mix these in with other things. Um, but I'm going to also leave some out to maybe just mash up later real quick. Um, I still have a good bit left, but I've got all these, and I'm almost got my containers full, so I'm trying to finish up with what I have left. I'm trying to finish up what I have left as far as, like, things like this, like the sweet potato I need to finish up. Um, but see, like, the bananas, I can just leave those if I need to, so. Alright, guys, so this is how you make baby food. So, we've got our stash in here now. Got a bunch of baby food. You happy about that, Claire Bear? You happy about the baby food? So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, like. Check out our other daily vlogs and other videos. And check out hairstylesetter.com. And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for joining us today. Yay, bye-bye. We are at church and it's busy. And we're trying to hurry. We've got a lot to do today. We didn't know if we were going to make it or not. But we're here. Okay, let's go to your class. Let's play. Kinsley. Kinsley. What are you doing? Cleaning your plate. Can I